Hi everybody, welcome back to the FreeSpin 3D tutorial series. In this tutorial we're going to take a look at using Motion Tween in Adobe Flash CS4 to animate 3D objects. So to start out we're going to import a 3D model and we're going to use this little egg ship model here. And Since we have this import to stage selected it's going to bring it directly onto the stage and give us a live preview. You'll see that it's created a layer here for our egg ship. And I need to scale this down just a little bit. And we're going to do a simple animation across the screen for this tutorial just to show you how to rotate objects using the motion tween. So I've got my object here. I'm going to go ahead and make it look like it's about to fly onto the screen, give it the proper rotation. And I need to add a frame out here at frame 50 and create a motion tween. So we're just going to create an arc path and have it fly off the top of the screen. So at frame 50, we want it up in this position. And now I'm going to go ahead and create my path that it's going to follow. And I've got my motion tween set up now. Now what I want to have happen is right about this point, we've got the start of this arc and I want my object to start to rotate along that arc and start to kind of roll over like in real life. So we'll roll up the import 3D palette and choose 3D rotation frames. This isn't actually necessary, it's, it's more to show you what's actually going on behind the scenes. But you'll see at frame zero we've got a certain XYZ rotation applied to our object. That was the original rotation I applied. Now at any point in time along this timeline, I can make changes to the object and it will tween the rotation of the object. So let's go ahead and apply just a little bit of rotation here, make it look like our object's following the path going to do it again right here and maybe one more time up now let's yeah let's go ahead and go all the way up here to the top make it easy on ourselves so now we have the option of when you scrub the timeline you'll still just see it go along the path if you let off of the indicator you'll see where the rotation is an easier way to see your rotation throughout the entire animation is to go ahead and set your frames per second here and click play all and we'll see our object following the path and you'll get a better idea of what your object looks like at any given point in time. So let's go ahead and hit control enter and take a look at our movie. We'll see a nice fluid movement along this path. And there we go. That's how easy it is to animate using CS4 motion tween. Tune back in to another tutorial to broaden your knowledge of FreeSpin 3D.